Hello STEM engineers. Today we are going to be making Lego bridges that can span the width of the water. Now for the water today, we're going to fold a piece of paper into quarters and we're going to pretend this is a river and your bridge needs to cross over the river, but not ever touch the river. Make sure that the end edges of your bridge do not touch the water. I want to make sure that I make my bridge long enough. If you find this a little bit tricky, look at how I've made my bridge. Notice that I have some tall piers on the edges. These are the piers right here and here. That will give it some height so that the surface of my bridge isn't just setting on the river. And then to make this bridge long, I've taken my Legos and I've connected them together to make a long bridge surface. And notice that it's two Legos tall. One of the rules for today is that you can only use regular bricks. Now, if you're not familiar with what a brick is, this is what we're not allowed to use today. These are called plates and these tend to be longer and wider and they make this activity a little bit too easy. So for today, we're not going to be using any of these long, thin plates. We're just going to be using basic bricks that are a little bit thicker, but a little bit shorter to make it a little more challenging. I think you can do this, so go give it a try. Make sure again that your bridge does not touch the water. Um, this is one way that you can make a bridge. Another way is a staircase bridge. I'll show you an example of that. Just make sure that it does not touch the water to be successful in this bridge challenge. Good luck.